<laughs> All right, let's start. <clears throat> Okay, all right, okay. Uh, good morning, good evening, good night to um, everyone out there uh, being with us on this program, uh, to especially to our average partners around the world and to all those who are always tuning in uh, to learn more about our community. So thank you for being here with us. So my name is Nelly. I'll be hosting our Unleash Your Story. This is our edition four. Um, these are stories from real people in our community who are creating an ecosystem where it brings equal distribution of wealth, um, ideas that became reality, creating a new breed of entrepreneurs using products and services um, that benefits them and therefore bringing about change and drawing us closer to our mission and the and theory of our new economic evolution of the world. Now, joining me this morning is this incredible, intelligent boss mama, um, Losalene Liwaki, uh, originally from Tonga, now based in New Zealand. Um, I had the privilege of working with Losa um, in previous ventures uh, and quite an experience. Um, I don't know if any of you out there can relate to opportunities uh, out there who are who recruit people and then you try so hard to build right, but it's just not going anywhere <laughs> due to not having a, a solid support system from its own CEO and just left everyone to build blindly. So now I won't go into the details, but that really, really rocked me to the core. Um, but the thing about strong women um, with strong attitude and persistence is that we have grit. And when one door shuts, another door opens and we don't give up easily. So we learn, we grow and continue again until we see success. When we fail at something, we don't just sit down there and cry about it. We pick ourselves up and run and try and try again. So now I won't go into the details as there were a lot of family members out there that approached me on this business as well, but I chose Losa um, to be my upline and to become my sponsor um, to coming to Everage because I know her. Um, she is someone that I can really rely on and she has such great leadership um, so Losa, um, introduce yourself and, you know, touch a little bit about uh, your early childhood and background. I'm so privileged. Thank you for being a part of Unleash uh, Your Story this morning, even though it's 5 a.m. in the morning in New Zealand, but I'm grateful, you know, to um, be able to have uh, your time to be on, on, on here. Thank you so much, Nelly, um, for having me here. Um, and thank you so much for the um, introduction. Now, first of all, um, it's 5 a.m. here in New Zealand. I find it very hard to wake up in the morning, but it's the passion that gets me out of bed to do this. So thank you, Nelly, for the opportunity. Now, allow me to introduce myself. Um, for those of you who don't know me, uh, if you've seen me for the first time in this life, um, my name is Losaline Liwaki. I am of Tongan Samoan heritage, currently residing in Auckland, New Zealand, in a small town called Pukekohe. So I've been living here for the past 11, 11 years now. So in terms of background, I, I grew up in a very small island back in Tonga. It's called Ha'apai. Um, it's a dot on the map, you won't even find it, but that's where I grew up. You go from one end of the island to the other end, in like 30 minutes drive. So that's how small um, the island where I grew up in for 16 years. So you can imagine the life in, in, the, in the islands. It's very simple, uh, less stressful, less uh, bills to pay. And um, I remember during my child, my early childhood, we used to live by the, by the ocean. So our house is right next to the ocean. And on the other side of the road, we have the church. So walking to church is like two seconds or three seconds. And I would always I would wake up in the morning and I remember seeing my father going to the plantation at 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. in the morning in his tractor. And he would come back home at the, around the same time, 5 or 6 p.m. at night, and it's already dark. Um, I'm the eldest of five, um, in, of five kids, so four girls and one boy. Uh, and I'm married with one son. I've uh, been married for four years now, going up to four years, nearly four years. 
And I've got a beautiful son, which I will talk about later. It's one of the questions coming up, but I'll stick to answering this first question, early childhood and um, background. So yeah, that's what my childhood was like. Um, simple life and um, we always eat from from the, my father's farm from his crops that that's, that's our main source of income back then um, when it's time to harvest I would go and sit in the market and sell um, um, yam and watermelon and all these different crops and sometimes I would set up a tent in front of our house by the roadside and I would sit there and people just walk past, we sell watermelon for 20 cents, 50 cents. That's the kind of life I grew up with, um, guys. And, you know, I remember uh, my mother used to, to run a food canteen. Um, so as you can see, my parents were very hardworking parents. I wouldn't say I come from a, a rich family, not a, a poor family either. I would say middle class. So we have everything that we, um, as children wanted the best for us in our eyes. Um, and, and that's because of the sacrifices that mom and dad have, have made this whole time. So I'm nearly 27 years old and I'm forever grateful to my parents uh, because if it wasn't for them and the sacrifices that they've made over the over those years, I wouldn't be the woman I am today. Today, I wouldn't be where I am today. So yeah, that, that's a bit about myself. Um, some of these things I never talked about before, but I guess I'll let it all out here. And um, I hope it inspires other people. Nelly, you're running out of Hi. sound. I can't hear you. Yeah, okay. I love your story uh, because I can totally relate as well because that was the life back in the islands, right? We. We, we rely heavily on our plantation, our farm, and, you know, and assisting our parents, uh, you know, with going and selling those things. And, and I was like that too, you know, I helped my mom to go. We have this huge um, uh, pineapple plantation and I used to go with my mom and, and sell those as well. I don't eat pineapple because I'm allergic to it, but we have a huge humongous, um, plantation farm where I go out and, and just help my mom, you know, sell it on the street. And, and, you know, and you look back at that kind of life, you know, really, um, you know, it makes you, gives you that determination to, to do really good and be at the, the hardest working person in the room. Right. Um, but you know, sometimes I get emotional because that was the story back then. <laughs> okay, now, um, now tell us a little bit about your profession back then. Um, any interest or hobbies that you have? Okay, now I remember growing up as a child, I always had this love for numbers. I don't know why, but yeah. ever since as a child, <laughs> I'm attracted to numbers. Anything that has to yeah. do with numbers, I'm on <laughs> numbers. You know? So. Mm -hmm. I gotta talk to you guys about uh, primary school time. So I'm talking way back to year 2000 to 2005. Uh, primary school years, we uh, back at that time we used to have um, uh, the Soropen uh, competition. It's a math competition. It's it's kind of like mm -hmm. a you know a calculation tool for the Japanese, and we used mm -hmm. to have this competition back at our time uh, during primary school um, and then I fell in love with this it was one of my interests back then and and mm -hmm. I, I and I guess that uh, just um, you know it it, um, it it set the fire uh, more uh, lighter mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. ever since then I uh, started participating in some competition sorbent competition back in the islands right. and we used to compete with other schools and we even won trophies from the co um, 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 competition and you know my love for numbers uh, grew even bigger from ever since mm. uh, then and it leads me to where I am today so that's one of my interests um, back then and you know uh, in terms of profession uh, prior to joining the company I used to do all different sorts of jobs, you guys can name it. But I remember my <laughs> first job um, is a part-timer. I was delivering newspaper for New Zealand Herald here in New Zealand. So I'm talking right. four years ago, that was my first ever job. My first ever job. And I, mm. my training back then were, were, was only 180 after text. Mm. And I was 
able to <clears throat> live on that 180 a week. So my mom and wow. was on the earnest back then. And, you know, mm. uh, I, the struggle was real because they were the only income earners back then. So I had yes. to work two, three different jobs just to make um, mm. ends. And, you know, not just delivering newspaper, I was also doing a peer, I was also a peer facilitator for first year for, um, university students. I was also yes. working as a, a, a community support worker for disability people for over one year. Mm. Wow. Was also worked in the insurance industry for over one and a half yeah. year um, as a life mm. insurance agent. And that was my last profession before I joined, mm. before I came across this company. Yes. I yes. will talk, talk about yeah. my journey with this company later on. But yes, yeah. that is the answer to your yeah. question. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and love I love it. Oh, my God. By the way, I love seafood. I'm a seafood person. Um, yeah, growing up in the island, right by the ocean, we eat seafood all the yeah. time. So. Oh, I love it. Oh, don't start with me on seafood because uh, <laughs> I go crazy when it comes to seafood. <laughs> Oh, okay. I love it. I love that. Um, so, you know, um, basically, you know, with, with you saying, oh, the, you have multi, uh, you've got, you can multitask, you can uh, blend it well with any kind of environment and, and, and throughout that period of your life, you know, you tend to um, acquire um, different skills and knowledge on those different professions, right? Um, and then you bring that together and it really, really helped you to further uh, develop and uh, make progress in everything that you do right now. Um, and one thing I love, I love the ocean. Yes, oh my gosh. Uh, you know, as Islanders, this is something that um, any Islander would would know is being, you know, you're, you're in that tropical paradise where uh, the ocean is something that not only do you get food from it, but it's also part of our culture and our lifestyle, right? Um, yeah. That's great. Awesome. So you recently, uh, well, four years of that, you, you you got married. Um, I, I know around that time I was in New Zealand and and uh, you took us by surprise that you're getting married. I was like, wow. Um, so you recently got married and um, and now you have a beautiful, handsome son. How does it feel like being a, a first time mom? Okay, thank you for the question, Ellie. Uh, to be very honest, it was challenging. So I had my son mm. back in 2019, um, and that was we got married in October 2017, and we had our first child yeah. in January. Um, and to be honest, I wasn't ready to be a mom. Mm -hmm. uh, it right. was challenging uh, for me, especially being a first time mom. But then later yes. on, as days and months go by, I came to realize mm. that it's a blessing yes it's challenging but it's very rewarding at the same time and you know mm. my son gave me that that um he's he drives me he gives me that motivation yes. he's my wife yes. why I'm doing all of this all of this yes Always, so yeah. you know, those mornings where you wake up and you don't feel like getting out of bed but something yes. pushes you out of, 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 of your of your bed and, and that is what my son's doing now so yes. you know mm. it's very rewarding um the, the thing is the thing is in the first few months of his life i missed some of the important moments in his life and that yeah. is because yeah. back then in 2019 i was still an employee working a 95 job um mm -hmm. and you know the money was never enough i remember carrying him i was self-employed at the time and you know mm -hmm. being a self-employed person i thought to myself I'm good now. I'm my own boss. No one's bossing yes, me around. Yeah. I'm comfortable right. where I am. Uh, this is my final destination, right? So, mm. um, uh, with that mindset, um, I was too comfortable. And reality started really kicking in. And I came to realize that I'm missing out on a, a lot of family time with my, with my son and my husband. I would go in the mm. morning as a life insurance agent, trying to look for clients yeah. and be the client um, yes a uh, job uh, uh sorry it's a client based commission job i have to find clients yeah. in order to get paid right. and if i don't find mm. clients i don't get paid so i would go in the morning and then come back at like 10 or 11 at night time and husband and son mm. are already sleeping and i missed on a whole lot of special moments um I yeah. grew up as a child um he's now two mm. years old running around very naughty and active um he's driving me not sometimes but 
Hey, I that family time. I'm now able to get that. Um, and that's one of the the best luxury I have in my in my life right now is the time freedom. And it's because of the, of the decision I made to join this company 20 months ago. Yeah. I'm now able to spend time with him doing this business right beside him on the phone on one hand, changing nappy on yeah. with one. You know, <laughs> all the stuff at the same yeah. time. But yeah, that's yeah. the beauty of being a mom. <laughs> yeah. be, you know, one of those days where you just want to go wild in the whole world because. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. But yeah, yeah that's um, the, yeah. But yeah, um, that's one beauty. <laughs> that's great. Oh my gosh, I can just picture you with that phone uh, on one hand and the other. One. But anyway, that's that's good, and that's the life of being uh, a mom. And and you know, like you said, you you weren't ready to to have a kid, but I tell you, you know, it just happens naturally, and and you have no choice because you're married. <laughs> And, um, and not only that, but, you know, once you have, you know, a kid, everything changes in your life, right? Um, your decisions will, will, will evolve around that, that child, right? And, and I guess, you know, it just, it, and it makes, it, it makes um, all the reasons, everything that you do in life makes sense. Um, and that's one of your biggest motivator is, is seeing your son growing up and you don't want to your son to go through hardship in life. And, and that's incredible. And that's one powerful reason why a lot of people around the world are doing this and trying to look for a plan B, right? Now, um, this is something uh, I wanted to tell us your story and your journey in Everage. And what is Everage um, offer of you that separates from all of other ventures that you did in the past? Okay, so um Sorry, guys, I forgot to mention that um, I know Nelly from the past before we even joined this company. <laughs> um, we mm. used to be in other ventures, in other opportunities. And, you know, um, I the biggest loss for me was 35,000 USD. Mm. And I lost my car. That, that's the mm. worst. That's my lowest point that I got to. And um, what? Took, me, took me over a year to recover from. from that loss and finally accept it mm. and move on yes. from it. I, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't just sit there and give up and throw in the towel. Yeah. I picked myself up. That's right. I took a learning curve for me and I continued on searching. As you said before, we're strong ladies. Mm. With yes. So I picked myself <laughs> up and continued on searching. I crossed this company mm. in 2019 in March. That's the first time ever. Mm -hmm. I heard about this opportunity and because of the uh, bad experience from the past, I was too skeptical. I was that closed minded person. I said to myself, mm. that's it. I'm not involving in any more ventures out there because yes. everything. Mm. So I had that mindset yeah. my yes. <laughs> two years ago. So <laughs> I yes. and I spent three months doing research on the company. Um, and expect run and see if there's real people from New Zealand that are yeah. part, part of the company. Right. So I started following Neil and I came across Evelyn and all these big leaders in the company that are here in New Zealand. Here, um, yeah, locally. So, um, started messaging a few of them, including Leroy Trip, which is my sponsor, um, and started asking <laughs> questions, asking for proof, yeah. because all I need to see is proof before I can join yeah. this company. So three months yes. later, made a decision to, you know, uh, took that leap of faith and just joined the company. Back yeah. then, I didn't mm. understand half of the company, but I saw the potential. Yes. I saw what it can do to my life and my family's life and how to change mm. our, our, our future uh, financially. So I jumped on board and that's where my journey began. Um, yeah. 20 months later, here I am. Uh, and mm. it was the best decision I've ever made, to be honest. Um, mm probably one of the best decisions that I've made in my entire life. Entire totally life, life, yes. Um, and, you know, mm -hmm. best of journey in the last 12 months, uh, 20 months. So it's almost two years that I've been with this company. Yes, there were mm -hmm. ups and downs. I wouldn't say the journey was all perfect. But, you yes. know, I never gave up. Uh, there was a time where you nearly throw in the towel, trying to deal yeah. with all the activity from the public. Even my family yes. were not supportive about what I was doing. Yeah. They didn't believe in it because it sounds too good to be true because it's something yeah. new been done before. Yes. So I mm. keep the faith, I keep on 
focusing and I said to myself, I'm going to prove it to them. Today, Nelly, they are turning around and supporting me 100%. It took them that right. long to finally that realize <laughs> It's something, you know, new, something that's never been done before. Yeah. So, you that's know, right. it gives me extra motivation because now I have the support from my family. And uh, this mm. company enabled me to retire at the age of 24. So I mm. am so mm. blessed and grateful to our CEO, Andre Harato. have met him in person uh, in India. Who mm. would have thought that an island girl like myself would end up yes. in the other side of the world? And mm -hmm. have the opportunity to meet our CEO in person. I went to India mm -hmm. for only one day to get confirmation whether this company is yes. legitimate. From that right. day on, ever since that day, I came back to New Zealand and I said to myself, this is it. And ever, ever mm -hmm. since then, my passion grew and grew every single day about this company. And look, this is what I do on a full-time basis, uh, basis, talking mm -hmm. to people from all around the world. And that's yeah. a beautiful company. You know, you sit at home, you talk on the phone to someone in, you know, uh, Fiji or Nigeria, right. or America, mm -hmm. and you get the, the chance to help as many people as you can. And that's what the kind of person I am. Growing up as a yeah. child, I always wanted to help people. And this yeah. company allows me to do that. So I am so thankful, yeah. so blessed to be a part of this um, company. And yeah, I've learned so incredible. much along the way, Nelly, um, in terms of mindset, yeah. a total shift in the mindset, completely new version of yes. myself. Had to be <laughs> old stuff five, ten years ago. I used to have this yeah. really habit with money, but now, man, everything's going up. Everything's improving. Yeah. Uh, and I yeah. can uh, uh, testify to that because I know it personally myself. Um, this company is not just about the money. Yes, I started because of money, but later on, yeah. I once I fully understand the vision and the mission on the, of the company, I oh, fell yeah. in. Mm. And my focus was no longer on money. Focus is now sharing this opportunity with as many people as I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and mm. when you do, your dreams will start coming true. And you know, That's look at me, retired at the age of twenty four, and this is why mm. I'm so passionate about sharing this opportunity to get people to to experience this to retire early mm -hmm. to have time freedom financial freedom as well to be mm -hmm. able to chase their dreams and live life in their own design yeah. so yeah mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's my journey so far awesome that's that's incredible i oh gosh where do i start <laughs> it's 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 amazing uh you know like i mentioned in the in the beginning uh what we have is grit and, you know, in, you know, I just totally understand relatable, you know, especially when everything uh, that you try to get into, you know, it doesn't work out. And then you decide, oh, no, you know, everything is a scam. So, of course, definitely, I was in that mindset and I told myself, I am never, I got to be more aware of, you know, when I get involved into something like this, especially when it comes to recruiting people and those people you recruit, they trust you. You know, they are family. And 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 when things happen, when, when things don't go the, the way it's expected, it's the it's you the one to blame, right? You are the one that recruited them and that trust kind of wavered. Um, but you know, I'm so grateful, um, you know, for also your great into trying to go and learn and find out if this is real so that you don't jump into it and then and then backfire uh, <laughs> back to you. So um, you know, and also I'm also grateful. Um because I know if it would didn't work in other previous ventures, I would have, you know, been with somebody. But I'm so grateful because I it, I know you for, uh, for being that kind of person. So I chose you to be a part of um, Everage because I just know you. And we're just, you know, we're kind of bouncing back towards each other um, with, with how we work. So I'm grateful for that. And I love the fact that I love your story. Um, and for those people who are watching, um, uh, you know, our live right now or uh, watching the replay after, you know, uh, that's in one incredible, powerful story on why our Everage uh, uh, community and our business uh, is flourishing because you know not only do we focus not only the money will come later and I know anybody that's going to be involved in average it's gonna it's it's like it's like evo, evolution of rich people you know, richness surrounding you so it is a current tea there 
But you know, all you got to do is focus on helping, doing the work, helping, sharing the opportunity. The money will follow. And I tell you that um, it's so true. Money will follow. But the but the goal and the mission is to get uh, the word out there, share the, our, our mission, share our share your story. And that is one of the reasons why this came about, Unleashing, is because people like Losa, people like Jordani, people like um, Chris, people like uh, who was the first? Uh, Jennifer, you know, was on this um, program sharing their story, and they are real people. And you know, uh, you know, Rosa, thank you so much because that's really powerful. She's 24, so she's now 27, and you know, she's already retired. And you know, and what an incredible life that is to give to your son, your husband, um, and also to your parents and your siblings. So that's incredible. So. Now, because we have so many projects in our Everett system, what is your personal favorite? And tell us why. Okay, now, to, uh, to be honest, I've never come across a, 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 a company like, like us in what we're offering. The ecosystem mm. that we have, I fell in love with every single project that's in there, but my favorite would have to be UT Pay Group. So UT Pay Group, right. guys, is our mm -hmm. uh, Swiss-based company. It's based in Switzerland. Um, and uh, they have the right or they have the license to sell uh, the security token called WCRU. Um, and you know, this WCRU, as soon as you own it, or as soon as you have this in your portfolio, in your hands, it gives you that co-ownership in a global portfolio. It's the global portfolio that drives me crazy. That's, that's what I'm in love with because <laughs> Absolutely, this is, and this is why this is why uh, UTP is my favorite um, um, uh, entity or project out of all of those entities that we have in our, within our ecosystem. Mm -hmm. um, it's because of of just the thought of being a co-owner in you know in a gold mine in a, a diamond production mm -hmm. company in you know a film industry a film company and, and so much more a vessel technology. Um, growing up as a child, I used to love, have this love for gold, and I always wanted to have gold, to own gold for myself. But mm -hmm. here I am, mm -hmm. I'm the owner of a gold mine. Some, not a, it's more than one gold mine. But man, <laughs> yeah, that is the answer to that question. Um, <laughs> my favorite. Um, program. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Oh my gosh, me too. That's that's what incredible. Oh my gosh, I don't want to. It's so much. Um, uh, YouTube pay. Oh my gosh, our WCRU is now in the market. Oh my gosh. Um, and for those people who are watching, um, our YouTube pay group, you know, it's our um company that specifically uh created to sell our WCRU on the market. And, you know, we're opening the market at 40 cents, um, you know, the, the starting price. So if you come in right now, oh my gosh, you know, I'm, and I, one thing I'm so grateful for is that we started from the, you know, when, 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 when it was at a low discount, the price of the WCRU or what we call the crew back then. Um, and now, oh my gosh, look at the price. It's risen over just like Bitcoin, how Bitcoin started from right at the bottom and look at where Bitcoin is right now. It's, increasing but one thing that separates us is that we're backed by real assets of the economy and that's the beauty of what we've got a global massive billions and billions worth of a global portfolio and that's just in um that, oh my gosh you know if you are if you're part of us you're already settled for life guys <laughs> so you know if you are watching you know get back to losa um you know she'll be able to help you out you know and get you started because this is exactly the opportunity that we want to um get to the world and not it's not just ugp what we have but that's our personal favorite but we have heaps of other projects uh -huh. that's that's on there um and at the same time they're working on more incredible projects to be added into our average ecosystem and that's just incredible incredible so thank you because i me and you were the same on that one that's my favorite as well and basil coming up as well <laughs> okay oh, great 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 stuff <laughs> okay great um awesome now um last but not least uh what would uh what would be a challenge or words of encouragement you want to leave uh, for anyone out there watching us right now what 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 is your philosophy that you live by and what do you want to what what value do you want to add and what, what do you want to share with those people who are closer to giving up or throwing in the towel or those people who are looking still looking for a plan b those people who are still looking for something to to jo join and change their lives what would it be 
if there's one thing I'd leave with you guys, I would say uh, to the existing partners, uh, the old partners and the ones who joined us um, in this journey, um, enjoy the ride. Um, mm. And we give up. If you've been with us for long enough, for one year, two, mm. three years, never give up because, because the financial blessing is just around the corner. And you know, to the people who, are, who have been watching my journey or Nelly's journey or other leaders um, in our company in their journey, it's, uh, I would advise you to take a serious look at this opportunity because it's a, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I've never seen something like this before ever in my entire life. Uh, very rare, it's one of its kind. Uh, and I don't yes. think this uh, kind of opportunity usually comes twice. And you know, uh, the way I look at what we have in our hands, uh, it's gonna change so many lives. I can say that mm -hmm. confidently, 100%, because I fully understand what this company is all about. I've been with, it, with the company for 20 months. And, you know, this is the answer to so many people's prayers. Yes, we go to a 95 job. Yes, we work and we pray. But mm. you need to find out a better way to, uh, to, to work less for, uh, uh, give, to trade less of your time and give, uh, give you more money. And you know, I we used to struggle financially. Uh, seeing my mom and dad, the only income earners in our household of 10 people living in a five bedroom house. And that, that yeah. you can, the struggle was real. And very exhausting for me that I had to work two or three jobs and the money was never enough, never able to save yeah. or invest. And I started questioning life and I said to myself, um, will my son have to grow up and re go, go through this whole cycle again? I don't want that for him. I don't want him to get that yeah. exhausted trading 50 plus hours a week for yeah. something he deserves more. You know what I mean? So I yeah. need to make a decision because if you want change, you, if you want a better future, you need, you gotta, yeah. it depends on what you do today. So I gotta plan mm -hmm. that seed. I gotta make that decision. I gotta make that change with one single decision and here here I am, just because of that yeah. one decision made 20 months ago. Mm -hmm. And you know, yeah. my family is all set. Myself is all set up for the future. The future mm -hmm. is looking extremely bright. And I thank God for this opportunity that came through Andre Parata, our mm -hmm. genius. Um, yeah. My son never had to worry about money. By, by the time he's 18 years old, he's only two years old, 16 years from now, mm -hmm. totally different life. He will never have to yeah. worry about money ever again. The fact that we get to earn passive income simply by holding on to those security tokens that we talked about before, that's something mm -hmm. I fell in love with in this company. Tell me a company where right. you hold something and it gives you passive income for life. That's what this company can give you guys. If you're sitting on the fence and wondering what is all of this about, you know, sometimes you just look at and you come across an opportunity, you join it and learn about it later. Richard Branson yes. and uh, those uh, mm -hmm. quotes. Um, and yeah, uh, take a serious look at this and because this is what 90% of the planet have been waiting for. This yes. is history in the making. And I'm Major. so humble and, you know, blessed to be a part of history creation. You know, mm. my future generation will thank me as their ancestors for the decision I made. <laughs> Not just myself, but Nelly Definitely. as well. Yeah. Our partners that yeah. are in this company. So, exactly. Forever <laughs> grateful, Andre. Thank you for the opportunity. And thank you so much, Nelly, for having me here today to share my story. Hoping it, it inspires and motivates um, others to, um, especially existing partners in our company, to stand up, rise, uh, become active. Yes. Uh, active involved in this mission let's work together because okay. this is what everyone's looking for this is what everyone's mm -hmm. looking for but yes other than that um mm -hmm. thank you Nelly, I will now pass the word <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Losa, for your time sharing that value. Oh, uh, I know I'm sure everybody uh, that's watching us um, live and later on uh, will go back and hear your story and, you know, and rehearing your, your journey. And now, you know, that you've added never giving up and always, always um, have that determination and passion, uh, you know, to to succeed in something. And we've got uh, the vehicle to drive us there. 
we've got a vehicle of success that will enable us to uh, fulfill our dreams. And oh my gosh, it's incredible. I love this interview today. Thank you so much, Losa, for being a part of us. Now, Losa, I forgot to mention, uh, Losa is a top manager in our company uh, and she is our New Zealand local leader council uh, member. So um, it's incredible. We've got amazing um, uh, uh, you know, leader here that um, enables to help our community in New Zealand and also uh, my, my team personally. I'm so grateful uh, for, for your work and your, your, your endless sacrifice to helping everybody in New Zealand and, and around the world as well, um, you know, with sharing this opportunity with them. So once again, thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, we were going to have another, um, uh, you know, incredible story that you will be showing on, on Friday. But until then, we'll see you again on Friday. Losa, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you and love you, sis. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs> Bye.